Hey everybody, welcome back to the Workbench series where we do work on the bench. Today we're going to take a look at Honeywell's Smart Valve, the first generation. We're going to break down what the valve does, how it operates, and how it's connected to the IFC. First thing I want to point out is that there are no terminals on top, instead there are plugs, so we can't ohm this valve out with a meter like we can on other valves. If we pop this open, now you shouldn't do this at home because if you do this the valve is destroyed. But I want to show you the inside here. We have two coils, a larger one here for the main valve and a smaller one here for the pilot valve. And then we've got our circuit board here. The plug here, the square plug, connects to the IFC. And this little rectangular plug is where the igniter flame sensor assembly would connect. So what we're going to do really quick is we're going to take a look at the ignition sequence. Check it out. There are four colored wires that connect the board to the smart valve. The color code is pretty standard across most models. The first two wires are the black and the white wires, which bring 24 volt power from the board to the smart valve to power up the board in the smart valve. The next wire is the blue wire, which travels through the pressure switch before landing at the valve. When the inducer motor is energized, the pressure switch will close, bringing the call for heat to the smart valve. When the smart valve receives 24 volts through this blue wire, it will send 24 volts to the hot surface igniter and internally to the pilot valve to light a pilot. When the pilot flame hits the flame sensor, the DC microamp signal is picked up by the smart valve and the igniter is de-energized. Internally, the valve will send 24 volts to the main valve coil, which initiates a flow of gas to the burners. At the same time, the valve will send a 24 volt signal back to the board through the orange wire, commonly referred to as the electronic fan timer wire, or EFT. When the board receives a 24 volt signal through the orange wire, it'll start the timer for the blower on delay. All right, now that we know how this thing is connected and how it works, if you're going to test anything with a voltmeter, you should be aware that there's some very fragile pins inside of these plugs. If you're going to jam your voltmeter in there, you're going to mess up these pins. They're not going to function properly. If you were going to ohm out this igniter, the two blue wires here, you'd have to put your meter leads in that small little opening there. Again, be very careful sticking it in. We should see between 4 and 10 ohms on these igniters. That's pretty typical for this. And this has been the smart valve on the workbench. Before I go, I just want to show you where I got all of my information. Right there, published by the ESCO group. This has been the workbench series, and we were talking about smart valves. Thanks for joining us, and I will see you on the next one.